graphing linear functions. You are used to seeing an equation such as y equals mx plus b. Well today, instead of the y, you're going to see something different. You're going to see f of x, and that's how you read it, f of x, or some people say the value of f when x equals a certain number. Let's look at an example and that'll make it clearer. Here's the problem. f of x equals 3x minus 15. Find f of negative 3. That means I want to find out what this function is when the x is negative 3. That means I'll have to plug in negative 3 everywhere I see an x. Notice I'm not really doing anything to the left side of the equation. I'm just writing down f of negative 3. On the right side, I'm doing the work. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. Negative 9 minus 15, whoops, minus 15 equals negative 24. So the value of f when x is negative 3 is negative 24, or a shorter way to say it, f of negative 3 equals negative 24. Let's do one more, more problem. Evaluate h of x equals negative 7x when a x equals 7. You know what to do? Take out the x, put in 7, and evaluate the equation. Negative 7 times 7, negative 49. So h of 7 equals negative 49. Do you know what h of 0 would be? Right, it would be 0, because negative 7 times 0 is 0. Now, there is another type of problem that you might run across, and it's asking for something slightly different. Find an x value f of x equals negative 2x plus 4, find the value of x so that f of x equals 16. Well, this time, I'm told the answer. f of x is 16. I'm going to put that 16 right here. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for the number that will make it come out to be 16. Well, I'll subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 2x equals 12. If I divide both sides by negative 2, x is negative 6. So the value of x, negative 6, makes f of x equal 16. Let's try one more where we're asked to find several different values. Find f of x, if, if f of x equals 12, x plus 1, evaluate it the function when x equals negative 2, 0, and 3. Well, let's do negative 2 first. f, plug in the negative 2. We have negative 24 plus 1. That's going to be negative 23. f of negative 2 is negative 23. f of 0, if I plug in the 0, 12 times 0 plus 1, f of 0 is 1. And f of 3, 12 times 3, 36 plus 1. So f of 3 is 37.